Hello everyone, it's just to teach you how to use Google Classroom. But bear in mind, it's extremely simple. Since Google Classroom is pretty useful, but not that difficult to use, okay? So, just some basic information, because I have seen some people, they're already still using this argument, I don't know how to use Google Classroom. I have no idea how to use Google Classroom. I don't know how to access and things like that. Okay? So, simple and basic video to teach you how to access, okay? Like my other videos, we have low quality, but we hope to teach you something. Things to do and some things to avoid doing. Anyway, Pretty basic, pretty simple. There is no secret involved. I hope you enjoy it. You need to have a Gmail account. Okay, you need to have a Gmail account. So you open your Gmail account, you log in, and then you Google, okay, you Google Google Classroom. Then Join class. This is in Portuguese. Even better. Join class. It's going to ask you for a code. Let me use a code. You are. You are kind of inside a class. You have access, okay? Google Classroom. So the way it is, this is the mural. The teacher can post anything. You can follow. But of course, you can post something as well share something with the group though it is even the students can post something you guys can add something from your from your google drive you can share a link a file a youtube video there's nothing complicated about that and in here activities you can see what you have to do things that your teacher have recommended for example, this one, we have a project, a topic, activity about ask politely questions, people, people that are in the class. So there it is, there is nothing complicated about that. So as you can see, a simple video, I hope it can help you. I hope you guys can use Google Classroom now without any kind of excuse and interact please share anything you want especially if all positive things if you can contribute okay thank you and bye bye for now see that's basically it you just need to have a gmail account log in and your gmail account mm, what else you need to have the access of the code of your classroom. Your teacher is going to give this to you, of course. And that's it. Go. Be curious. Use the possibilities. Check the buttons. Check the options. And let me see what else. You can share your activities, videos, pictures, and so on. Share some ideas, interact, contribute. Say goodbye to passive learning. And say hello and welcome to active learning. Let's act a little bit, okay? By the way, I didn't click on any kind of activities, as you have just seen. But when you choose an activity to answer, you just, of course, have to click and follow the instructions. You can answer as a comment. You can download the activity since they have many, many options, okay? for the teachers to make one, to create one. So it's always going to change. So maybe you have to post a picture or to download a file or to upload something. But as I said, no secrets involved. Anyway, if you still have any questions about it, just let me know and see you next time. Bye. You put your right hand in, you put your right hand up. Put your right